Today I'm sharing my minimalist and natural cleaning routine using only three ingredients. It's super simple. It cleans extremely effective. I'm sharing my routine, how often we clean our home and what we do to keep it super clean all the time because that is very important for me. So without further ado, let me show you every single room and how I clean it. So the first thing I do is always opening my windows. Airing out the house makes it feel lots cleaner and it also makes the house drier and nicer to be in. Next, I like to clean up anything I have lying around before I get to the cleaning routine and I just had some dishes that I needed to put away. We only keep a few items in the kitchen because I find that this makes it cleaning a lot easier. On Sundays and Wednesdays, I also change the towels in the kitchen. I've made these hand towels from linen myself. Next, I'm just using my vinegar cleaning solution to wipe down the kitchen. This cleaning solution is so effective, simple, and the vinegar smell evaporates after just a few minutes. To make this natural and all-purpose simple cleaning solution, I just add distilled white vinegar and some drops of essential oils into a spray bottle. You can add water to dilute it, but I like the strength of it this way, and you can also skip the essential oil if you want. The vinegar is what does the cleaning, and it is super effective. It's an all-purpose cleaner that works on most surfaces. I keep the Swedish cloth regularly clean, so I clean it in between each little wash I do, which just keeps the kitchen dust free. It's so much easier than paper towels and it lasts so much longer, and it also doesn't contain plastic, which microfiber cloths do. To clean the sink, I use baking soda or baking powder, whichever is cheapest in the refill store, and then I scrub that in without adding any water. The baking soda works as an abrasive and scrubs away any old grime and dirt and it's super effective, especially at cleaning stainless steel. Cleaning the drain becomes so much easier because I just scrub it with baking soda. Doesn't have to do a lot of work, but they turn so shiny afterwards that they look completely brand new and the kitchen looks so much nicer. Another benefit of baking soda is that it's completely natural, it's very affordable, and it also works to eliminate any smells, so it's especially good for cleaning. Use as much or little as you want, but just experiment and see how much you feel like you need for your kitchen or wherever you're cleaning. There is really no right amount. And here you can see how clean this becomes after I've just cleaned it with baking soda and cold water, nothing else. To keep the Swedish dishcloths clean, I like to boil them once a month or just run them in the dishwasher or even just put them in a laundry bag and run them when I do my hot laundry. They last forever and when you're done with them, you can just put them in your compost. Most of the time, you just have to double check which brand you have and they are so much better than any of the alternatives. Give it all a wipe down and then you have a super clean sink. The next step is to use the same solution to clean all the cupboards in my kitchen. Again, I use the same solution to clean the entire kitchen and we have these weird handles that collect dust so I make sure to give them a good clean and I also use this cleaning for the oven. A great tip to avoid cleaning your oven so often is to not use oil when you're cooking or any fat for that matter. We never use any oil or butter when cooking so we never have to clean out our oven. And then I just removed some of our to-do lists about our van from the fridge and gave that a wipe down too. This vinegar solution works really good on any area that's shiny. And when you use the Swedish cloths, it leaves no streaks. And lastly, I just clean up some random things I had on our kitchen table and gave that a wipe down. I wipe my Berkeley filter down with the solution, but normally I just use a dry linen cloth to polish it. The last step for the kitchen is to clean my water bottle. I clean my water bottle once a week, just again using baking soda and vinegar. I let this sit with some water for a couple of hours before I scrub it. Cleaning your water bottle is so, so important and I think it's something we overlook, especially for water bottles you can't put in the dishwasher, but I highly recommend you do it. It's very important for your hygiene and for your health and cleaning it with vinegar and baking soda and water is just such a simple and natural and quick solution. I then let it drip dry and then I have a clean water bottle again. So now that is the kitchen done. It is super clean with just all these products and it's time for me to move on to the next room. Normally I clean the bed sheets on the same day as we do the deep clean, but today it was raining, so we did them yesterday. I worked in my bed this morning, so I'm just starting by cleaning up my computer and also opening the windows to air it out. I then make the bed. We make the bed every morning and we fold the bed sheets in half, just like so, so that the bed can air out during the day. 
Allowing your bed to air out and not letting the duvets lie on top of the bed all the day is really, really important for a healthy mattress. I'll make another video on what mattress you should use this week because it's really important for your health. Then it just started pouring down way too much for me to even be able to have the window open. Next step is to clean my desk or working area. I wipe it down again with the same vinegar solution and I wipe down my screen, my entire computer. We also vacuum when we do our deep clean, but we normally do that in the afternoon. I never keep anything on my desk because I like to keep it super clean and this also makes it a lot easier to keep tidy. Next room and the final room for my cleaning is the bathroom. Again, I'm using baking soda or baking powder and I put it in the sink dry without adding water. Then I use a dishcloth to scrub it. Again, I use a different dishcloth for the bathroom and this really removes any dirt very effectively. We keep our bar soap in an old bowl with some rubber bands, which is a great zero waste idea. So I like to wash that once a week. The hardest part is definitely getting the rubber bands back in place, but I made it work and this is how we keep our soap. And I also make sure to change the hand towel and that's everything for the sink done. I also use the vinegar solution to wipe down the mirrors and by using a Swedish dishcloth, it leaves no streaks. I use the exact same method for cleaning the toilet and the shower, just baking soda, scrubbing, and then cleaning it down with the vinegar solution. Super effective and super clean. I also like to wipe down the washing machine once a week since there is some dust collecting there. A tip for cleaning the toilet is that when you're done, just add a few drops of tea tree oil before you close it and that will make your bathroom smell super clean. And that is the bathroom all finished and clean. I do this about once a week and then I also wipe down the surfaces at least twice a week. And that is also my entire house done. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was super, super difficult to film because we live in a very small house. And when you try to film in a small house, everything just looks sort of crammed and not very pretty. If you compare to like, I don't know, I'm comparing myself to her 82 square meters and she's obviously a videographer. So, but still, it was a very difficult video to film. Let me know if you liked it, if you have any questions. I thought maybe I should make a video on cleaning tips too, like hacks for how I clean specific parts like my Vitamix or my Swedish dishcloths. But just leave a comment down below and then I can add them to my list and make a video about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like the video because this shows YouTube that you like it. So it helps my channel. That's the only reason I'm asking. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.